We have to at least kill the penny. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back on the Morax account, thanks to Reb. We are going to jump into Aspen Dungeon, we are starting at Death 1, so it should be a pretty good run overall. We have to decide how we want to gear our heroes up now. So, I do want to grab all these pay to win artifacts, let's see, that one is going to be an important one. Actually, I don't know if there's too many that we have to worry about. I think, I think, so you, sir, look like you are kind of set up good already. Let's get, let's get our Sherlock, because we're definitely going to run a Sherlock here. I think we're going to run a 1-1-1-1-2 setup on him. I think that's good. Split gear. Basic Rui Scepter is going to be the best we can do. Let's take the crown off of Russell, and let's throw it on... Where is she? There she is. There's our Ada. All right, so we're going to swap the crown over to here. I like that. Russell, of course, we're going to we're going to change his setup a little bit as well. We are going to run him with a 1-3 setup. Oop, not right there, right there. Let's do that with Augustus Magic Ball because it can work pretty good. I guess attack HP is going to be the best we can get for our Russell, so that will be fine. We are doing death 1 to 50, so it is there's a little more give and take to it so we're gonna run one two three we're definitely running marax and i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run him like in an extremely offensive build like he's kind of we're gonna see if he can work kind of like a ticks type hero where oh, granted his his basic attack is not that good not that good we'll do a holy attack stone let's do a two two three two two set up as well so we're all out damage we are going to imprint him as well that's one thing we decided on so uh so you don't have to watch it give me a second we will get him up to void two i think and then see where we're at so i did just realize we actually don't have any more 10 star foods right now so we can't quite do this part we'll have to wait um We'll figure something out before we do broken spaces and test them out in PvE. Because I do think he has potential in PvE. But uh, for now, we're going to just have to leave him a little bit powerful, but not very powerful. So he will hopefully be a demon potion hero. So we got Russell. We got Sherlock. We have Ada. We have Morax. We have one slot open. The question is, who do we put in? We Do we have any candy bars on this account? I don't remember seeing any, really. Yeah, I don't see any candy bars. All right, all right. <laughs> so the decision's gonna have to be, who do we run? I guess we could run Unimax with Torch. I guess that works. And just, you know, pretty much run him against like a Valkyrie wave. I guess that could work. I think that's probably gonna be our best bet, honestly. Something like that. We'll, we'll, we'll throw him in just in case we need him, but... I'd rather not use him, but we will. He seems like the best alternative. So, we're going to grab that Russell. We are going to grab that Morax. We're going to grab U2, and then we're going to grab a Unimax. Morax and Unimax. There we go. We got a, we got a squad going. So, yes, our Ada is only 330. Should we power her up? Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that to Reb, I think. So, if he wants to change it, he can. That looks like our squad. We're going to see what Morax can do. 20, 20, 20, and 11 demon potions. That looks pretty solid, if I do say so myself. So, oh man, <laughs> oh this is that, that this is that question, guys. Do we just throw Marax in round one to see what he can do? He should be fine. Like he should. We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna throw him in. He should be able to get his active off in round two, and he, yeah, he's a tanky guy, but his his active. It does a lot of damage, and it'll hit up to four to five people, so that is kind of nice. Ooh, my goodness. So, I guess this could be the first real test, because we don't have an answer that can beat this wave. We could use a Demon Potion on Russell, but that is a guaranteed death. 
we're gonna try a demon potion with Marax and see how this works out. We have to at least kill the penny. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yep. So he didn't have enough stacks. The one thing you have to learn with Marax, this is a really, really bad thing, but it is a learning curve. Um. So with Marax, his active is going to start with the back line enemies first, and then it'll jump to the front too. The problem is we only had three stacks of extra ammo. We didn't, or rather two extra stacks. We hit three targets. Usually when you use your basic attack for round one, you will get a stack so that when you use your active in round two, you'll hit four targets. The problem with him using a demon potion in, on turn one is that he's only going to hit three targets. And sadly, he chose to hit Amon Ra instead of the Penny. If we would have hit the uh, Penny instead, we would have had a much better chance at this. So, in typical Barry game fashion, we killed our target. And now this is pretty much the beginning of the end here, guys. So, uh, yeah, it would have been nice to have Marax against this wave, honestly. But, hey, we're not going to trash the run just yet. I mean, we're, we're pretty much done. But, yeah, this is going to be a quick one right here, guys. So, we're going to power our way through it just to see how far we can get. The previous was Death 42. Yeah, we're not going to quite get there, guys. But, hey, we'll see how far we can push with this lineup. A lot of these are going to be very easy waves for just an Ada. But, of course, we got two of the most difficult waves right off the bat. Um, this one... I think it's going to have to be a Demon Potion Sherlock, and we're still going to have to pray to the RNG gods right here. Oh, no. This is not looking good. Come on. I, I need you. You. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing, Sherlock, man? You're crazy. You're crazy. Dump someone. Oh, this is what happens, guys, when you have a regular Rui Scepter and not an Ormus upgraded one. I mean, he's doing a hell of a job tanking, but... Yeah, he's gonna go down. Simple as that. Um, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be one of them quick runs right here, guys. Quick, quick video today. <laughs> but we learned something with Morax with the de with the using a demon potion is it does run into trouble there. It does. Oh my goodness! And then of course we get a quad over on. This is just. The <laughs> oh man! I mean, I guess we go in with the Unimax. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most scuffed run we have ever seen here. I mean, if he breaks out by round five, we have a shot here, I think. But if he stays in there after round five, we really... Oh, he got out. So we do have a chance to actually do this because we can survive against two Oberons for quite a bit. And then he breaks out. Boom. There we go. All right. So we got lucky. We high rolled Oberon. Granted, they're only level 450s. Um, Yeah, this one's going to be... An eight away. Let's just see how far we get. I was tempted to just say, ah, let's just call the run, but we can get a decent ways. I mean, it's not going to be anything amazing, but we can do it. We can still get it done. Hopefully one of them crits us just to get an active off. Good. Get that mark damage rolling. Ooh, very scary. Very, very scary. No energy left. That's fine, though. Because we get an easy wave, we don't even need to heal up. We will actually heal up a little bit ourselves. Back to the quad wave. All right, we'll watch this one again. But we're guaranteed an active, even if they don't crit. So we should be fine here. No problem, no problem. This is going to be a learning curve when it comes to using this Marax. I don't know how good he's going to be in Sea Land because with a Demon Potion, he is only going to hit three targets on round one, which isn't good especially in our case when you saw that penny there Ooh, there goes our team okay <laughs> and that's the run so let's uh let's use a couple demon potions on unimax give him some extra skill damage maybe and kill off kill off yep there we go and then how does he do against these two folks actually not that bad that was kind of surprising how well he did against uh Against both of those Asmodels. Interesting. wonder how this is going to go. You know, this is a kind of a cool run because we're going to see what Unimax can actually do at this point. Because we're throwing him into every wave and just seeing what happens. He's not going to get many actives off, that's for sure. If any at all. So we might go into the really, really late rounds. 
because they're alternating their actives here oh here we go this next round has a chance yes there we go we get an active off <laughs> oh man they can't do any damage to unimax though he heals for so much he heals for so much there we go and that should end it right there oh another basic there we go so we got almost full energy as well let's let's see what this unimax can do here just send him up 1v1 against every one of these heroes this one could be interesting Ooh, that's a lot of damage dealt i don't think we're gonna make it to the extra rounds where we need to get to for unimax to actually start popping off but maybe oh that's some good damage we just can't let that aspen heal yeah, okay that is a lot of healing on this unimax unimax is uh you know what let's use a demon potion on this one i don't feel confident on this one whatsoever <laughs> at least we didn't get horrified that's a positive yeah we're gonna get wrecked <laughs> so there's one really big thing we need to pull from this though guys and i know barry scuffed the run we always do it me and june just have this bad luck wait that, that looks weird it's like his torso is moving separately from his pants doesn't it look like that hold hold on hold on let's see him take a smoke again real quick hold, come on just lean back over come on you can do it for us like look at the torso doesn't it feel like the torso is moving completely independent from the stiff <laughs> whatever so big thing you have to learn here is that the basic attack gives morax two layers of extra ammo okay that's important to know because he will consume extra ammo layers with hellish smash and that's how he hits multiple targets you saw with that demon potion that uh yeah we basically only got to hit three targets with the demon potion well, well that's not horrible that does make it very awkward for aspen dungeon quad waves because if if you like you literally saw what happened Penny was the only one we need to hit, and that gives you a 50-50 chance to hit Penny or Ada in that front row because you're guaranteed to hit the two backline targets first, and then it moves to the frontline targets. If we would have high rolled and hit Penny, we would have been fine because I'm pretty sure Marax probably could have lived against the Ada, killed her, and then moved on. But Demon Potion Marax is going to be a really weird hero to live, not hitting all four targets. It kind of looks like every time we look at something with Marax, it just feels like that typical subpar abyss hero i don't know what abyss heroes did to dh kings but they do not like abyss heroes so yes scuffed run yes marax is eh is there a way to make him work probably is it optimal definitely not is he a first e5 hero to build i don't think so i personally don't think so we will see though you never know you never know so what you guys need to do let me know what you think about the morax hero do you are you guys a little disappointed like me let me know I, I mean i know we had scarlet queen come out which is like the extreme of highs and then we have morax which feels like way down here so let me know what you think hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll try to make a non-scuffed run later this week as well and i'll see you guys next time